like my reference point is say up the middle of my foot. Like that's the, my balance point. Like if I was on a seesaw right now and I did a squat, the seesaw is probably gonna tilt backwards as I get lower, right? I can try and stay, keep the seesaw, the teeter-totter level, but as they get down, it's more likely gonna go back. It's very easy to tip it back from this position, harder to tip it forward, whereas here, see I can, now I could, I could make the teeter-totter go forward. So front side and, have, and back side heavy, I guess is just, yeah, when you analyze someone and, the, and their posture and you draw a line up the side of their body through their balance point, you can just use your eyes. You'll be able to tell. It's like, oh, yeah, I see there's more of the body behind that line, less in front. It's a backside heavy position. They're balanced. They're not falling over. But the backside of that line is heavier in weight then the front side of that line is heavier in weight. And, and if you're thinking about coming down the mogul in a front side heavy position, which is like you standing on a teeter-totter with the teeter-totter facing, like you, you've manipulated it so it's falling down that way, so you're on that teeter-totter this way, then you're gonna get it to spear the bump. If you're riding down the, down the back of it and you are centered on that teeter-totter, as soon as you hit something, it's just gonna flip up like this. But if you're riding that teeter-totter on this point so it's forced down, now it's going to flex. And that could be a cool cue, coaching cue to think of. And you could even, you can get your ski poles out, put them on a flat piece of terrain, right, like this.